Hey, what's happening guys? If you've been watching the channel for any length of time, you know I like to play with high voltage stuff. And this is uh, no exception. What I've got here is a Slayer Exciter based solid state Tesla coil. I'll turn it on here and give you a little peek. You feed it 12 volts. It puts out three and a half watts of power. And I am going to release this as a kit with my new friends and new sponsor, NextPCB.com. We'll talk more about them later. Right now, let's go take a look at the circuit board. All right. So here is the circuit. And for all of you who are always asking me what uh, software I use, you can see right here, I use Easy EDA. It is a uh, free online uh, designer program. Anyway, here is uh, the circuit. So if we start over here, we have the power coming in through a DC power jack. This says 24 to 36 volts. Well, we're going to probably change that. Make it like a 12 to 24. Like I said, this is just a prototype. Next, we have a uh, 470 ohm electrolytic capacitor, just acting as a tank, a reservoir. So it's going to charge up first before anything else happens. Uh, you can ignore this diode for now. This is going to be part of a, uh, well, it might, it might be part of a, of a different uh, change to this circuit, but I don't know right now. If you install the diode, nothing bad will happen. If you don't install the diode, nothing bad will happen. Over here we have our uh, our biasing for our single transistor oscillator. In this case, we're using the TIP forty one C, but um, there are a couple other choices you can put in here that match the pinout. You know that might have what you have. As long as it goes from left to right, base collector emitter, you'll be okay. Just you know, check the maximum limits for everything. So we have a 1K, I don't think I used a 1K resistor, no. I used a uh, 47K. So let's change that. Twenty-two to forty-seven K somewhere in that area, just to limit the current going into the uh the base. And then this LED, I'll explain it here more in a minute. So if we follow our current from the power through the power switch, it's going to come through this resistor. It is going to bias the base of this transistor, which is going to allow it to conduct from collector to emitter. And as you can see, our primary coil is here. Our primary coil is two loops of 22 gauge solid core wire, and you'll get that in the kit. So then we're going to put a, a current through our primary coil, because now this is conducting. Through inductance, it is going to induce a voltage into the secondary coil of a different polarity, out of phase, you know, what's a, so to speak. That out of phase voltage is going to come down through here and shut the base off. That is what is going to give us our isolation. I mean, our oscillation. Now, what about this LED? Well, this LED here is acting kind of like a Zener diode to clamp the high voltage that is coming back through the secondary coil so that we do not blow up the TIP 41C bipolar junction transistor that we're using to drive this entire circuit. All right, let me show you the board layout next and I'm gonna make a couple changes on this too. So here's our board. You're gonna put your primary and secondary coils here in the center. Your um, transistor goes up here with the heat sink, which will also be included in the kit. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end up moving this primary coil connection, like probably over here on the bottom side of the board. Maybe the top, yeah, it, it'll stay on the top side, but I'm gonna bring it right over here so we don't have a whole bunch of wire crossing the board. And the secondary coil connection is also gonna come here, probably on the opposite side, but that will definitely be on the bottom then everything else can pretty much remain where it was. And we can do a little 3D render here, give you an idea what this will look like. 
without the uh, the coils in place. You with me so far? Cool. Now, like I said, I'm partnering up with Next PCB to do this kit for you guys. And uh, if you'd like to get any boards made, I highly recommend you check out Next PCB. It's really simple. I'll go to their website here. It's nextpcb.com. Sign up. Go to a PCB quote. And then you just need to upload your Gerber file. I just need to remember where mine are. One moment, please. There it is. So we upload our Gerber file. Take a couple seconds for it to analyze it. Yeah, it took about 10 seconds. Okay, so it says currently showing an analysis file, Gerber PCB Slayer Exciter. Make sure these uh, things are correct. They are correct. Then you can just come down here, you know, select how many of these guys you want. Whether or not you want to break, break, array, break away rail, your PCB thickness, the color, you know me, I like them blackboards. White silk screen, uh, sure, they're going to do an electrical test for you. You want one ounce or two ounce copper, just about anything's fine with one ounce. Uh, your tray spacing, check out what their minimums are and go a little bit above it, you know, give yourself a little bit of cushion. Same with the drilled holes. We want tented vias. A hassle is fine. Enig is if you want gold. Uh, any special processes you want, um, you know, no problem. They can do all of that stuff for you, and it's super cool. All you have to do now is come over here and find out. We got five boards here for twenty-five or for seventeen dollars. I know that sounds a little expensive to the others. Don't worry, there will be coupons. Yeah, down here, PCB tier price, uh, up to five boards is going to cost you 17 bucks, so that's a uh, $3.50 one a piece. Don't worry, they'll give you a good in, uh, introductory offer. Then you can pick your shipping. I mean, if you're not in a hurry, look at this, 8 to 13 days for 4PX. That brings your order down to $23, which is just about the same price as some of the other board services. So, you know. It all comes out and it works better. The prices are all the same pretty much wherever you wherever you go. You just need to find out who's going to give you the best service and service your account and take. One of the ways that Next PCB helps you out with this under their uh, PCB assembly quote here is the Gerber viewer and the DFM. So let's go to the Gerber viewer. We'll upload our file. Now, this is uh, what I think is so cool about Next PCB. So you've designed your board, right? You did your error checking in the schematic capture. You did your electrical checking in your PCB layout. Well, now when you come up over here, you can come over here and get this DFM checklist. Signal integrity, no errors, short circuit, nothing. Pad spacing, no problem. Board edge clearance, bah, bah, bah. Everything that you want to know it's going to tell you here so that you have no surprise when you get your boards. Now, if you're doing this for a company or, you know, you're trying to be a little bit more in a professional way, you can download that DFM report just like this and have this for every single one of your PCBs. Yeah. I don't know why. It's failing is because this thing works, so I'm not going to worry about it at all. Super cool. All we have to do now is send our boards out to Next PCB. Okay, so now that we got all the technical stuff out of the way, is it any fun? Oh, I think so. 
I'm powered up here. I know it's hard to see if there's really anything going on. There is. There's a corona discharge. I'll show you in a minute. But as you can see here, it's producing quite a nice electric field. Now, let me shut that off. Shut some lights off and we'll try something else. Okay, I got the camera about 30 inches away because this thing really kicks off the field. I'm going to turn it on. You should be able to see. Yeah, there you go. There's your coronal discharge. And uh, you know, there it is lighting up a Nixie tube and all these guys. So plenty of power. You can see the LED is lit. Super cool. Now, one other thing I want to do, and I'm going to turn the lights back on, so guard your eyes. I'm going to come in and change this angle a little bit so we have a more view, more outside view, I guess you could say, wider view. And I'm going to bring in this little handheld oscilloscope here. Because in a video earlier this week, I was talking about Tesla coils. And I was explaining how to determine the resonant frequency of a coil. And some of you were arguing with me that I was doing it incorrectly. And that's always a possibility. So this coil came out at a frequency of um, like four and a half megahertz. Right? So let's power it up. Let's bring the scope probe in here close. We'll hit the auto range. And then I'm going to hit hold save. Bloop. I'm going to shut this off. Bring this here and bring you guys in so you can see. So there's our oscillation. We're looking at eh, about seven volts peak to peak. That, that's radiated energy. Seven volts peak to peak at 4.6 megahertz. Okay. Okay, Paul can drive a function generator in an oscilloscope. <laughs> so I think this is going to be a fun little kit. You can do a lot of things with it. Um, you know, you might want to glue down the, the wires or whatever. You can take a ball of foil, stick it on top there to make your top load. And, uh, yeah, I think that's about ready to go. Like I said, I'm going to make changes so these wires aren't here like that. Other than that, this is the kit you'll get. I am going to order exactly 20 of them. There will be 20 of them and only 20 of them. There won't be any more. If there's a second version, there might be a different. But there will only be 20 of this version. Um, they're going to be sold for $25.99. If you want one, send an email to me at arduino0169 at gmail.com with your uh, you know, name and shipping address, blah, blah, blah. And I will send you a PayPal invoice, and you can have one if you want. And those boards will be coming from our friends at nextpcb.com. So I'd like to thank them for keeping this channel alive and sponsoring cool projects like this i would like to thank you guys for watching and sticking around with me all these years i couldn't do it without you so again if you want one of these send an email arduino0169 at gmail.com and we'll go from there otherwise guys thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed if you did please give me a thumbs up feel free to comment share and don't forget to subscribe nextpcb.com that's it i'm out Peace.